Good day Grade 12s, welcome to your next lesson in number patterns. In this lesson we're going to be looking at the sum of a geometric series. Remember I told you that if you have numbers which are for example 2, 4, 8, 16 then that is geometric sequence but if I go to plus 4 plus 8, plus 16, then the, that is a geometric series because it's got pluses in between. And as soon as you have pluses between the numbers, we can find the sum of a whole bunch of these numbers. But we need to look at the proof of this. So the formula for the sum of a geometric se series is A times 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R. And it's on the formula sheet. It's on the formula sheet. So you don't have to panic. It's there. You don't have to learn this one. But you need to be able to recognize it and you need to be able to prove it. So let's look at this. So if we take S of N to B, and this is, remember this is geometric. So it's going to be, this is term 1. Term 1 is A. Term 2 is A times the common ratio, which is AR. Term 3, if we think about it, is going to be A times R times R, which is AR squared. Term 4 is AR cubed, etc, etc. Then we've got the last term. Now we know that TN equals AR to the N minus 1, right? So that there is the last term. Therefore, N minus 2 is going to be the second last term. N minus 3 is going to be the third last term. Now obviously there's a whole bunch of numbers in between. We don't know how long the series is. It's n terms long. Right, now what we do is we multiply the sum by r. Okay, so what happens? So we've multiplied this by r. So a becomes ar. ar becomes ar squared. ar squared becomes ar cubed. AR to the n minus 3 becomes AR n minus 2. AR to the n minus 2 becomes AR to the n minus 1. And then AR to the n minus 1 becomes AR to the power of n. Okay. And now what we do is we subtract them. So remember in the other formula, what did we do? We added. In this one, we're going to subtract. So if we subtract them, so we're going to go this dude minus this dude. Over on the right, on the left hand side, we've got s to the n, s base n, minus r s minus n. Okay, so a minus nothing is a. a r minus a r gives you zero. a r squared minus a r squared gives you zero. a r cubed minus a r cubed gives you zero. AR to n minus 3 to AR minus 3 gives you 0. AR to n minus 2, n minus 2 is 0. So basically all the terms cancel out except the first term and the last term. So you're left with SN minus RSN is equal to A minus R. N, A minus R N. And then what we can do on this side is we can take out a common factor of S N. So we're left with S N 1 minus R is equal to A minus A R to the power of N. Now remember we're solving for S N. So then we just divide both sides by 1 minus r and you can see I've also taken out the common factor of a here to be left with 1 minus r to the n and ta-da there is our final sum the sum is s and is equal to a 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r where s n is the value of the sum of the terms a is the first term of the series r is the common ratio and n is the number of terms. So you've got Sn is equal to a times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Now let's do a couple of examples. So the first example, first of all, let's just write this down. Sn is equal to a 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Now it gives us this as the given series. 12 minus 48, 192, and it says find s to the power of 8. Find s to the power of 8. So let's see what we have. We have a, which is 12. 
we need R. Now how do we get R? R is equal to T2 divided by T1, which in this case is minus 48 divided by 12, which is going to be negative 4. So now if we substitute in, we want S8, S8, it gives us A to the 12 times by 1 minus and then in brackets, minus 4 to the power of n, which in this case is 8. And I'm going to make this a square bracket just to make it easier to see. All over 1 minus, minus 4. So that becomes 12 times by 1 minus, and this is still minus 4 to the power of 8. All over 1 minus, minus 4 is 5. So now we're going to get out our calculators and we're going to move them over and we're going to say right we want negative 4 to the power of 8 and that gives you a huge number so let's write that down 65536 um, I actually did that wrong let me just delete it and I'll tell you why I did that wrong because the negative 4 is included into the power of 8 so it is going to be bracket negative 4 bracket all to the power of 8, which gives us the positive value of that, which I'm much happier with. Okay, so it's 65536. So this is going to be 12 times by 1 minus 65536, all divided by 5. And now we can put this in our calculator. So we go 12 times bracket. 1 minus 65536, close bracket, equals, and then we divide it by 5, and we end up with a negative 157,284. 157,284. So it equals minus 157,284. Sure, that's quite big. Okay, let's see. Next they say how many terms must be added to get the sum of 2,460. So now they're telling us that the sum of n is 2,460 and they want to know what is n. So you know what, I'm actually going to do this in a different color. So again we're going to use Sn is equal to a bracket 1 minus r to the n, okay all over 1 minus r. Okay, then we know that this is 2460 is equal to a and a is our first term which is 12 and this is 1 minus, I'm going to put this in a big bracket here, yeah, and negative 4 to the power of n all over 1 minus minus 4. I'm just doing it nice and slowly. So we've got, when we take that over, it becomes 2, 4, 6, 0 times by 5 divided by 12 is going to be 1 minus negative 4 all to the power of n. Okay, so then if we look at this, we're going to have to use our calculators. So we Bring that over to the side so we can see what we're doing. We go 2, 4, 6, 0 oh, times 5 divided by 12 and we get 1025. So we get 1025 minus 1 is going to be negative 4 to the power of n. So now we've got 1024 is equal to negative 4 to the power of n. Okay, so now there are a couple ways that we can do this. The one way is to see how many times 4 goes into 1024. So one way we can do it is we can go 4 squared obviously is 16. 4 to the power of 4 is 256. 4 to the power of 5 is 1024. There you go. So that is 1024. So therefore we know, we now know, where is my pen? There it is. My, that negative 4 to the power of 5 is going to give us our 1024. Therefore our n is going to be 5. Our n is 
five. Right, let's look at another example. It says determine x and then the sum of the first 12 terms. Determine x and then the sum of the first 12 terms. Right, so what do we know? We know that the gen that this, this is a geometric sequence because we're doing geometric sequences and we know therefore that it has a common ratio and the common ratio says that t3 over t2 has to equal t2 divided by t1. Right, therefore we can say t3 is 1 over x divided by x over 8 is equal to x over 8 divided by 1. Okay, so let's just make that look a little bit nice. In fact, what we can do is we can cross multiply and we can go 1 over x is equal to x over 8 all squared. Therefore, you've got 1 over x is equal to x squared over 64. And then we can cross multiply again. We've got 64 is equal to x cubed. Therefore, if we go find the cube root, so it is going to be 3 shift x of 64, we will get it to 4. So the cube root of 64 is 4. So x equals 4. So now we've determined x. Okay. Now they've asked us to find the sum of the first 12 terms. But we know Sn is equal to A 1 minus R to the N all over 1 minus R. So what do we need? We've got the first term. This is A, but we need R. The only way we can get R is if we substitute this 4 back into here and we find out what our R is. So if we substitute this in, we get our first term, T1, is 1. T2 is going to be 4 divided by 8, which is a half, right? Therefore, our R is going to be T2 over T1, which is a half divided by 1, which equals a half. Awesome. So now they want the sum of the first 12 terms. So S12 is equal to A, which is your first term, times by 1 minus a half, all to the power of 12, and I'm going to put close square brackets again in here, over all divided by 1 minus a half. So we've really got 1 minus a half to the power of 12 all over a half. So now we get our calculator out, and you go 1 minus bracket 0.5 bracket to the power of 12 equals divided by 0.5 and you get 8,192. So the sum of the first 12 terms is 8,192.